Hello everyone. Here we present our work constraint style learning from imperfect demonstrations under task optimality. Our work address is a common challenge. Demonstrations may not perfectly align with the task objectives, yet they still convey valuable stylistic cues. Simply imitating them hurts performance, while ignoring them loses style. We propose cons mimic, which adaptively balances task and style. For task rewards, we include task objectives and regularization. Style rewards can be either estimated by tracking or adversarial approaches. We optimize style rewards only when task rewards are within a near optimality margin. We use a Lagrangian multiplier to handle the constrained optimization problem and adaptively balance task learning and style learning. To evaluate our approach, we consider learning from demonstration scenarios with task demo misalignments. For the Franca manipulator, we command positions across a range while the demo includes only a single trajectory. For Animal, we command forward and lateral running, whereas the demo contains only forward motions. For GR1, we command traversal over flat, stair, and stepping stone terrains while the demo is limited to flat ground. To assess the stylistic fidelity of the learned motions, we use dynamic time warping between policy generated and demonstration trajectories as the metric. Across diverse tasks, this preserves near-optimal performance compared to task-only training, while consistently improving stylistic quality. In contrast, small fixed-style weights bring limited gains, and large fixed weights completely sacrifice task success. In humanoid locomotion, our approach strikes a strong balance, agents traverse challenging terrains while still preserving the walking styles demonstrated on flat ground. Task demo misalignments exacerbate the mode collapse commonly observed in adversarial training causing our robots to repeatedly execute a subsegment of the locomotion cycle. To mitigate mode collapse, we employ a symmetry augmented adversarial motion prior, feeding both original and mirrored transitions into the discriminator during training. Additionally, we average each transition's predicted score with that of its mirrored counterpart to enforce symmetry invariance in the style reward. Our results show that symmetry augmentation leads to more natural and symmetric walking motions. Our approach can also be transferred to quadruped hardware.